My name is Doug Hamilton. I'm the president of Elevator Safety Company, or ELSCO for short. We're a manufacturer of elevator components. We're based out of Baltimore, Maryland, or Owings Mills, Maryland, a suburb of Baltimore. Uh, we manufacture one particular component in an elevator called a roller guide. It's essentially the suspension system or shock absorption system of an elevator. If you want to get involved with a uh, new installation, uh, you really have to go um, in, in large volumes anyway. You have to go east, and uh, that, that means China. China is still building um, uh, cities of 2 million, 3 million people out of the ground. Well, uh, within our elevator division, or uh, within our elevator company, uh, about 40% of our production is export-based. And the major uh, area where Ex uh, Exim Bank helps us uh, is in uh, export credit insurance. So we are uh, extending credit, sometimes in pretty large quantities. I mean, we might have $500,000 out to a particular customer in China, a large uh, manufacturer in China. Uh, and five hundred thousand dollars for a company of our size or a, a you know fairly small uh, enterprise is just a lot of credit exposure and in a place where if something were to happen if there were some default we have essentially zero legal recourse there's nothing that we can do we don't understand the laws there we don't we wouldn't understand how to recover it uh, our, our likelihood of recovering recovery would be extremely low so uh, what we do uh, the program works um, pretty much like any uh, insurance policy would. We pay a premium, usually 55 or 65 cents per hundred dollars worth of exposure, um, and we have to pay that on, on all of our exports, in, including those to Canada. But uh, again, it gives us, it is relatively inexpensive, and it gives us the confidence to, to move forward, and because it covers other risks as well that aren't just credit risks. There are political risks, there are currency risks. You never know if the, you know, the currency in Vietnam could suddenly collapse and you could be you know, stuck holding a twenty or thirty thousand dollar bag. Uh, unfortunately for companies of our size and our book of international business, the private market doesn't really have a product, a similar product that, uh, that suits our needs. Uh, you have to be at a larger book of business to uh, qualify for this type of receivable um, insurance. Um, and so Exim Bank um, is really providing a service uh, in a hole in the market uh, where we would um, uh, otherwise go unserved. 2001 is really when we started uh, exporting uh, in earnest under our own banner. I really think that, that having the credit insurance policy available to us was part of what gave us the confidence to move forward. Uh, since that time, our business has grown. Um, you know, over a decade, we've grown uh, by 50%. Um, but exports have gone as a share of our business from where they were, which was 20 or 25% um, uh, in a good year to uh, more like a third of our business and, and in recent years it's been more like 35 or 40 percent of our business.